What is going on YouTube? Jay here from MJ Tech. Today coming with another unboxing and review of the AirPods Pro replica. And at this point, a lot of you guys are going to say, Jay, when are you going to get over it? Well, guys, the reason I keep making videos of the latest one that get released from China is because they keep adding more and more features just like the original one has. For example, on all my other replicas for the AirPods Pro, even though they had uh, or some of them had good quality, some of them had poor sound quality, but they all lack the noise canceling feature. And now with these inside of the bag, we have the noise canceling feature, which I'm going to test. And that's scary guys, because again, on the previous video, if you watch it, you're going to say, well, yes, I'm going to look for that noise canceling feature. If it doesn't work, well, possibilities are that it is a fake. Well, now that's not going to be a fact because they just release these right here. So that's why I keep bringing updates. So that way you guys are aware of what's going on out there. So without further ado here, let's go ahead and unbox this one right here. So these all come from China. You know that it's no secret that uh, these things get created in China. And these, I believe, are about $57 approximately from the website. So they're not uh, too bad considering that the original ones are almost uh, $300 with taxes. So they wrap them up very good. There's like a cover inside of a cover and a cover inside of a cover. It reminds me on Christmas time, sometimes I give a small gift that has a lot of value and I put it in a big box and I keep wrapping it and wrapping it just to make it fun. So here we have the packaging but now this is just to uh, protect you or protect them with customs okay makes it look like um, it is an adapter but when you open this cover here on the inner side you're gonna have the fake airpods this is an old trick they use and here they are guys so the first thing is that well we don't have that pull tab and uh, at this point, I don't know why, you know, they haven't made something like that yet. Uh, this one is very easy to spot. When you see imperfections like this, most likely it could be, um, or most likely it will be a fake. And on here we had the serial number on the box. Okay, very close to the real ones. And here we have the AirPods Pro logo. So now let's go ahead and break the seal. And I know that all this you guys have seen in the past, the box really has no meaning to me, honestly. I mean, they're all gonna be the, about the same. Uh, it does have that 3D printing on here with the Apple logos on the side. Very, very close to the real one. On the bottom side here, we got the information as if it was the real ones with all the uh, you know, company uh, logos and stuff. So very cool. Inside here, you're gonna have the manuals. This time you have a very nice detailed booklet. If you guys can see that, that's very cool. Then we have here the AirPods. They come wrapped very similar to the original ones and I can tell these have some weight to it. They're about the same. Okay, and again, don't forget about that stain that I mentioned earlier up here for the real ones. Okay, that way you don't get them mixed up. And I usually try to keep the real ones on the right and the fakes on the left. Okay, so let's go ahead and take them out of this wrapper real quick. And inside here we have a divider where we then find the earbuds. And we have the USB cable very nicely wrapped. So they paid attention to details this time. I will say in the packaging side, it feels very nice. And, and uh, when you look here at the arrow, it's pointing the correct way before on other unboxings of fakes. I showed you guys that this was pointing the wrong way, uh, but now it is pointing the correct way. So again, just to make it look more realistic. And uh, yeah, so there we have it for the unboxing. So now, of course, what we're going to do here is compare them physically. On the right side, I have the fakes. You can also tell here by the LED uh, this one is more covered up and it looks like uh, like it has like a little mesh on top and uh, it is made of like some sort of transparent plastic. This one is just a hole, very uh, black as you can tell so far those are the differences that way you know you guys don't get confused. Uh, towards the bottom side there 
we have the charging ports very very similar let's see there we can see it again this one is a little dirty in the bottom but check that out very similar uh, the thickness is about the same this one is more like a like a gray white I would say and this one is more like a bone white on the back side here we have very similar information it says they're designed by Apple in California assembled in China the hinges are very hard to tell which one is the real one and the fake and surprising enough this is the real one let me just confirm that yes it is the real one and the details of the hinge on this one is actually a little bit better check out the spacing but now I also see an imperfection this one has more spacing right there than this side and on the real ones it's actually perfect and leveled out very cool so now let's go ahead and again real fake and so let's open it up and let's see the behavior of the LED light if now they act about the same let's just check it out and know this one turned off a little sooner as you guys just witnessed and on the inner side now they perfected the logos well actually this one says model maybe it's for uh, for a different country it says model a2190 this one has a little bit more writings about the uh, input for the charger and then also on the left hand side the information is different than on the real ones let me try to focus that for you guys let's see here there we go so again the information is not the same uh, on the inner side other than that stain they are about the same they look super super similar let's go ahead and close them up for a second here let's grab my scale and these are the fake ones and here goes the fake it's 53 grams and then the real ones as we know are 57 grams so there's a difference there 50 54 so it's only about three three grams different you have 57 and 54 so there we have a, a way to check but again always focus on that LED light and that's how you can tell the main difference uh, what I'm gonna do now is of course take one from the inside and first I'm gonna show you the mechanism of the inner side so on the left we had the fake again on the right we had the real one and let's go ahead and open it here let me see if I can show you this the best way possible but check that out the internals are also very similar now in terms of all the mechanism and the way it charges okay so when it comes to the charging case I would say that it got a little harder to tell the difference even with the um, LED light the little hole if you don't have the real one side by side it's gonna be very difficult trust me let's close them up they close about the same well this one actually makes a little no more noise I'm talking about the fake one check that out you hear that this one has like a yeah this one is a little louder when it closes and the hinge on this one is a little firmer than on the fake you guys get the idea so anyways here's the fake here's the real one let's set this aside and so let's go ahead and compare here and here we have the little L with the left and again this one is more like a gray white and this one is more the real one is more like a bone white but other than that wow 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 they look so close even the writings here in the bottom side now I still think that this could be a fake sensor but I'm not 100% sure last time it did work to where if you take him off your ear it'll detect it and it'll pause the music and if you put it here it'll continue playing the music on the top here this is where the bass comes from you guys can see that this one actually has like an extra hole in there and the real ones don't have that hole and then here we have 
the sensors for noise cancelling and you guys can see that this one actually has a mesh this time and there's something in there it's hard to see but there's something in there this is the fake and on the right we have the real one you can see the stain of the real one right there I dropped that also one time so there's a little damage there but wow guys size wise they look so damn close okay so there we have it for the physical aspects now it is time to test them 24 hours later well guys a day has gone by and I gotta say that I'm truly impressed with these fakes they are almost a hundred percent undetectable I'm telling you these are very very impressive in every single way unless you have them side by side and you can tell about that LED like I mentioned before let me try to focus that right there unless you can tell that the LED is a little bit different than the real one I would say that it is almost impossible here I have the real ones on my right hand side on the left I have the fakes and the first thing I want to show you here is well after doing the initial setup and everything I named these fake after Jay's AirPods Pro and these are just the AirPods Pro so let's start with the real ones and let's see how fast the phone is able to detect them you can see that that only took maybe two seconds and when you close them it responds very quickly now with other replicas this had a delay but with this particular replica check this out it is instant and again I named it fake on settings so let me close this let's try the other ones just look at how fast it responds so this is the real one of course it's gonna do very good now let's try the fake ones check that out it took just seconds exactly the same way as the real ones so another impressive feature that a lot of you guys will definitely be impressed with is that again these are the real ones let me set them aside and these are the fakes let me get them out so that way you guys can see that there's no tricks here these are brand new they don't have any scratches whatsoever I showed you guys before that the uh, real ones were dropped and they had scratches these are spanking new and so what I'm going to do now is place them in my ear and I can hear the music just resumed I was on YouTube playing no copyright songs now I can close this right and if I go here into settings and I go into Bluetooth and I go into Jay's AirPods Pro the fake ones and I click on information check this out not only does it display it here like other replicas in the past that we have seen but if I actually hold and press the left one if you have both of them on of course you need both of them and the real one in order to activate noise cancelling if you hold and press it check how it changes the modes so right now it's in transparency now it's an off just check and see how my phone is changing the settings so as you guys saw I didn't touch the screen and now went into noise cancellation and yes it does work how amazing is that guys I can feel it or not feel it of course I can hear it and it is really really cool so again I'm holding it and pressing it now went into transparency I can hear the ambient noise if I press it again and hold it it goes off and if I press and hold it once again now it is in noise cancelling mode so again a very very cool little feature another thing that I'm going to show you here even though you can't hear the music I'm going to go ahead and play this video here and I'm going to take it off so that way you guys can see how accurate it is on other replicas in the past I had a hard time uh, getting it to stop or going back into play but these is actually very easy so I'm going to play this video I'm not touching the phone check that out I'm going to place it back in my ear look how quickly that is I'm showing you my hand so that you guys can see I just took it off I'm placing it back on 
amazing guys amazing so what I'm going to do next is go ahead and do a sound test so that way you guys can hear through the microphone or try the quality between both so in this particular testing we will start here with the fake ones and let me show you that casing once again you guys can see right here that this one has no markings whatsoever I got the real ones on this side and you can see that stain that I mentioned before so what we're going to do is set the case aside I'm gonna put the microphone closer to the airpods and try them out And now, of course, we're going to try the real ones with the same song starting from the beginning. that we heard and witnessed the audio coming out of these two devices the real versus the fake well i came to a conclusion that these the fake are about 85 percent equal to the real ones and the reason i don't give it a higher percentage is because of the fact that i feel like the real ones still have more clarity they have more base to it and overall the sound experience on the real ones is a slightly better but not by a long shot I have to tell you if I didn't have the real ones right next to the fake ones it will be almost impossible to know now here I have my wireless charging station I have the phone charging right now and we're gonna start here with the real ones let's go ahead and of course place them on the wireless charger and everything is working as intended and now we're gonna do the same thing here with the fake ones. And you guys will notice how they do charge as well. You have to make sure that you align them properly. There we go. And they are charging as well. Now I did notice that with the real ones, you just place them there. You don't have to worry about getting it centered. But now with the fake ones, it's a little bit different. And like I explained before, that's because the internals, even though the physical aspects look about the same, if not identical, with the exception of the LED light. The internals are not made by Apple. They just mimic to be made by Apple, but they're not. And I got to tell you guys, I don't care how much you say these suck. I'm telling you right now, these are by far the best replicas I've seen so far in 2020. We got to see what the near future um, you know, will bring us. But so far, these are the best hands down with real noise canceling and all the real features as the original AirPods Pro. With this being said, let me know down below what you guys think. Do they suck? Do you like the sound quality? Did it scare you? Let me know down below. Please comment, share, like the video, and hit on that bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next one.